Are you ready to stop the self-sabotage and create the life you desire? Well, in order for that to happen, you need to break free from the bad beliefs that are holding your success hostage. You need to optimize the stress by turning it into extra energy for success. And those hurtful habits? Well, we need to give that pain a purpose for progress. Welcome to Stop the Self-Sabotage and Create the Life You Desire podcast. I wonder which one of these scenarios might be close to something you've experienced in your own life. There was a woman uh, that I worked with because she was so angry and resentful over the fact that she and her significant other took on a project, one of the biggest that they had ever taken on in their personal lives. And part of the way through, her significant other went, this is just too overwhelming. It's too hard. I can't do this. I got to back away and left her holding the bag. Now she was still able to get through it, but there was some damage that was done. Then there was my other client that I'm working with right now, uh, self-employed, launched a, a new part of her business and had hired a sales team, was excited Uh, on their launch. And then not too long afterwards, the entire sales team left for a better offer someplace else and totally left it to her to run everything until she could get things figured out. She was left holding the bag and trying to figure out how to make it work. I even have a time for my own life. It It was about 10 years ago. And I had received a bad mammogram and had to go in for diagnostic testing. So I come out of the room with the results for my diagnostic testing. And uh, my husband, Drew, is sitting there. And he stands up and looks at me before I can even say anything and, and, and says, I, I, I just can't do this. It, 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 it's more than what I can handle. And there's something going on at work. And I've got to go take care of it. And I was abandoned. Now everything turned out okay, but I was still left holding the bag on how to figure out moving forward and and taking charge of my health. We've all had those experiences. Now, there are good reasons why people have to leave. There really are. I'm not going to judge those people. They hit their limits. But just because you hit your limit and and you say, I've got to go take care of me, doesn't make you a hero. It makes you learning how to deal with everyday life because we all run into walls. We we all um, say, I can't go any further. And um, I did this just last summer, so I, it's not that I've had that abandonment happen to me. I've also done it. Last summer, I was supposed to go out of town with two women, and uh, there was something in my business that was blowing up bad. Uh, I was trying to fix it, wasn't working, and I finally had to reach out to them a month before we were supposed to leave and say, I've tried every way I can to take care of this problem in my business as well as be able to go out of town with you guys and I can't do it. <clears throat> I'm I'm losing. There's no way I can win with this. By the way, there's a difference between losing and quitting. And and I'll let you figure that out. But I said, you know what? I'm a loser. I I, I cannot do both. I've given it everything I've got. Now No one, those two other women did not look at me and go, we're so glad that you came to this conclusion. We see you as such a hero. No, they were upset with me and they had every right to be. You know, almost 25 years ago, whenever I got sober from alcohol, that's when I discovered the real work started. No one stood up and applauded me and said, oh, you're finally getting clean. 
No, they looked at me and went, you know what? Now the real work starts because you are going to have to learn to develop respect and trust with those that you've hurt because of what you did. Now, we've all been abandoned and we, we, we've all left people when we've hit the wall. So you leave people when you hit the wall That's not good or bad. It's just life. Now, what about the people that are left holding the bag? We've all had that happen. And now we got to figure out how to put all the pieces together all on our own. Well, I could say that I'm standing up and I'm applauding you for your grit and your fortitude and for your ability to keep moving forward. And you know what? You don't care. You don't give a rat's ass because you're not doing it for the applause. You're not figuring out how to make this work with the least amount of damage, minimizing uh, the body counts, so to speak. You're not doing it for the pat on the back or the kudos. You're doing it because that's who you are. And that's what I want to say I see. That's what I recognize. Now, the idea is not to continually put yourself in situations where people are going to take you ad- take advantage of you like that, but it's all going to happen to us at one time or another, and you are going to keep moving forward. So I see the fact that you're continuing to try to find a way to make it work, and there may be times when you're going to lose. It's, it's not going to work out. Very smart man said one time that uh, victory will require you to go through hell because you're going to have to do things you never thought you could do. Quitting, though, keeps you there. Keep moving. I see you. I recognize you. And you are not, you're not the hero, but you are the one that others should be emulating. Because you're showing others how to lead in their own life. And I want to say thank you for it.